Welcome back, Rust gang. If you're joining us for the first time, my name is Bogdan, and this channel is all about the Rust programming language. Rust is not the easiest programming language to learn, so it's crucial that you know about the high quality learning resources available to you. That's why in this video, we're going over the best free resources for learning Rust. I'm going to break this down into a few parts. First, we'll talk about resources that help you learn the basics of Rust. Then we'll talk about domain specific resources. Then we'll talk about resources for advanced Rust. Then we'll talk about hands on practice. And finally, we'll go over some other resources. So with that, let's get rusty. For learning the basics of Rust, the best free resource you have available to you is the Rust book, also known as the book. The Rust team has done an amazing job with this free resource. It's well written. It explains the features of Rust clearly, and there are projects in the book so you get some hands-on practice. Now, if you're like me and you prefer video tutorials over reading books, then I got some great news for you. I have a playlist where I go over the Rustling book chapter by chapter. Essentially, it's the video version of the Rust book. So if you're interested in that, click the card up above. As a complement to the Rustling book, another great resource is Rust by Example, which is a collection of runnable examples that show various concepts in Rust. This is great if you quickly want to see how a feature in Rust works, and it's also great to keep around as a reference. Lastly, we have the Cargo book, which goes over Rust's build system and package manager called Cargo. Once you're done reading the Rust book and you're building an actual project and thinking about things like, how do I structure my project? How do I publish my project on crates.io? This is a good book to read. Next, let's talk about domain specific resources. First of all, there's a few books out there that teach you how to use Rust to build specific applications. There's the CLI book that teaches you how to build command line interface applications using Rust. There's the WebAssembly book that teaches you how to use Rust with WebAssembly. And then there's the Embedded book, which teaches you how to use Rust to build embedded software. By the way, I'm going to have a link to all of these resources in the description, so don't worry about remembering everything. Now, Rust is a systems programming language, so another thing you might want to do with Rust is implement an operating system. If you're interested in this, I found an experimental Stanford course all about implementing a simple operating system using Rust. The link will be in the description. Another domain specific use of Rust is building backend services, which I'm personally very interested in. As far as learning resources go, there's a thorough 14 part write up called Practical Rust Web Development, which you can read. Note that this write up was last updated at the end of 2019, so it might not be the most up to date information. Another resource is the Zero to Production in Rust book, which is an introduction to backend development in Rust. There are two caveats, however. First of all, this book is not completely done. As of this video, the first nine chapters are complete, but you can still get early access to this book. The second caveat is that this book is not free. It's going to cost you some money, but having said that, this is the most comprehensive resource on backend development in Rust that I've come across. All in all, there aren't many great resources on backend development using Rust, which is why in the future I'm going to be making videos on this topic specifically. So if you want to see that, make sure to hit subscribe so you get notified. Next, let's talk about resources for learning advanced Rust. First, we have the Rust standard library documentation. As your projects become more complicated and you start using more of the standard library features, this is a great reference to have on hand. There are also free books available that go into the more advanced concepts in Rust. For example, the little book of Rust macros delves deeper into the macro system in Rust. The asynchronous programming in Rust book covers, well, asynchronous programming in Rust. There's also a guide available that talks about porting C and C++ code to Rust. Lastly, we have the Rustonomicon, which is a book that delves into the dark arts of using unsafe Rust code. I've provided links to all of these books, as well as other advanced resources in the description. The last advanced resource that I want to mention is John Jensett's YouTube channel. 
If you've read the Rust book and are looking for more intermediate to advanced learning material, then John's channel is a great resource, specifically his series called Crust of Rust. John does a great job explaining concepts in Rust, and I've personally benefited greatly from his videos. Next, let's talk about hands-on practice resources. The first one is Rustlings. Rustlings is a collection of exercises that get you accustomed to reading and writing in Rust. Rustlings is available on GitHub, and I encourage you to download and try doing some of the exercises. The other hands-on resource I came across is the Rust track on exorcism.io. With over 90 coding challenges ranging from easy to hard in terms of difficulty, this is a great resource to learn about solving coding problems using Rust. Lastly, I want to talk about some other resources which you might find interesting. There are two very active Rust Discord servers, the official Rust Discord server and the official Rust community Discord server. There's also a Rust subreddit. If you enjoy consuming content via audio, there's the Rustation Station podcast. And lastly, if you want to be kept in the loop, there's a This Week in Rust newsletter, which you can subscribe to. That's it for this video. If you want a list to the resources I mentioned in this video, plus more, then click the link in the description. Also, some of you have been commenting that I should release a Rust course. Well, this is something I'm planning to do in the future, so leave a comment down below of things you'd like to see covered in that course. And lastly, if you want to see weekly Rust videos, then hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.